Ministra de Ingeadia, e nectun kishne ustri të fjetis së Glinses Mari, jemi rreth një orë ljarkë Bostonit, kërë qëndrës së Grëpë Shkopatës Shqiptare, dhe jemi këtu me klerikun që shërbenit të kisht të mrekuhushme, me klerikun përgjegjis me Atmar Do. Atmar, we thank you so much for being us. Thank you. Atmarko është me rëndësi që edhe miqë të radio sonë të ju njohin më tepër dhe të gjitha ta që në antikë në përmi të rjetëve tona sociale, sepse ju keni qënë edhe një pjesë tashme e udhëtimi tonë të radio sënë gjallë, sepse prej kohësh ju i në kisha i uaj edhe në dikmonë në radio gjallë. Fatë marë kjo e binë well-known for me to listen and send for the first people that follow the radio gjallë, because uh, you have been one of the contributors and donors for our radio station. And the people need to know more about uh, your church here in Boston, about the opinion of uh, Orthodox Church here. Sure. So, again, thank you. Um, many people before before we even met uh, Father Grigori uh, uh, talked a lot about Radio Njalia. Listening to Radio Njalia. And so I also went to the to the uh, internet to find Radio Njalë. And uh, even though I don't understand fully Albanian, the power system we I can I can pick pieces from the internet. Of course, the services we know. But we're so uh, excited to see when you travel to, to, uh, to these different uh, towns and to interview the priests and to explain a little bit about the history of that town. So the church in America thanks you for this gift. We have a lot of Albanians that are living in this city now. Many through the years have, have not only come to the church regularly, but have supported the church both financially, but also with volunteerism. Just to speak a little bit about my own experience. As you as you know now, I I grew up in this church. I was born here. Sometimes it's a little unusual when uh, someone is born in a church and then they But sometimes time goes by and you leave and then you come back. Poor. And so, uh, so I've been a priest for, for 20 years. And the, the parish priest, Proistaminos, for almost four years. The community is, is uh, well known to all of the other Orthodox churches in City. And we are fortunate here, as you know, to be, to be able to, to, to share and to celebrate. With all of the other Orthodox churches. Our church here was built in 1982. We had our original church was in another location. But this church was built specifically for Orthodox worship. And possibly your viewers can see a little bit of our church. We have beautiful iconography by the iconographer Dimitri Chika. Of course in Albania. 
Many, many people come to our parish. And they see these beautiful frescoes. And they say that some of them never have seen anything like this. So we are very, very fortunate that, uh, that uh, many of the Albanians call this their home. Father Mark, në fakt, ajo që edhe mua më ka për përshtypje gjatë që ndrimi tim këtu në Ulster, është edhe mardhënje që e kini me klerikët, jo vetë në komunitetet, për e me klerikët e tjerë. Ma dje më ndodhe që kur zbrita në Boston, ju të takonit edhe një prijës atje në Boston, të takonit në aeroport, të takonit një prijë fresht, të së bashkë të takonit gjithashtu, Pra shikoj që këtu nusë e kini një mardhënje të shkëllqyër me klerikët e kishave orthodoxe që janë këtu në qytetë. Father Mark, during my stay here, since I came to the airport, I saw you that you met a priest from the church here, and also a presbytero from another church. So I see a special relation between the priest here, not just the communities, but also for the priest. How is this development? Yes. Because it's a good model, a good example. Yes. So the priest of Albanian uh, churches, Greek churches, Romanian churches, Antiochian churches, and all the other churches that are here, they celebrate even together. So, uh, so this um, this experience that we have here is not new. The cooperation between these groups has been for over 60 years. And we are very blessed because even though sometimes the priests change in the churches, the community is is already used to it. They already know. They know that this is how we participate. And so the priests have made a strong effort to make sure that we continue this tradition. And any kind of difficulties we have because of our ethnicities, really, they don't, they don't exist here. We are, we are in the habit, we're used to meeting together for divine services. For things like Sunday of Orthodoxy, si për shumbull, të e uh, the pre sanctified liturgies, e të and also we visit each other's churches for the Vespers of the Feast. On top of that, the priests. Um, try to, to come together just for like a one day retreat every three months. And this uh, provides us the, the place to talk about the struggles we have Për, uh, për pike që kemi, in, our, svitet, in our families, in, family in our tonë, parishes, në, uh, in and also the success that we've had. And this has caused the brotherhood of clergy to be the The kjo ka shërbyr për një vlazërit priftërore që të jetë edhe sa me ngur, sa me ha. And uh, as, as I, I, I showed a little bit during your visit, not only, not only do we share uh, liturgical services, but together with 12 local Orthodox churches, we have built a, a nursing home. 
an Orthodox food pantry. Gjithashtu edhe një mens të përbashkët Orthodoxe. And, and an area of the cemetery. Dhe gjithashtu ndajmë edhe vëndin, kemi marë vënde edhe të përbashkët të varezat. And so we try, uh, when we're able, to do these social projects. Not from the Albanians or the Greeks, but under the one Orthodox Church. Father Mark, the Albanian community in Muster, one of the biggest community, foreign community here in Muster. How related are the Albanians with the church here in Muster? Yeah. With their church? Yeah. So I, I, I think, uh, as you know, that uh, um, the Albanians, even those who aren't Orthodox, still see this as part of who they are. So we have many, some, some that aren't baptized yet, maybe some uh, of different faiths. They come because we share a heritage, a culture. But also, very important, that the church is open for them. That the community receives them. And they are our brothers and sisters in Christ. Në fakt, në Amerikë, kishë ortodoxë e tashmë, po bëhet e njohë, sepse edhe shumë njërës të, të cilët praktikoni në dorështë në grupë, tjetër të kishterët, ka në shirë të vinë në kishë ortodoxë. Por ka dhe i gjithashtu ortodoxë të cilët nuk i përkasin e të njësë shqiptare, të cilët duan të bëhen pjesë e kishë, si mirë për të nga njërës, dhe ka, ka hapsirë për të njërës, që dhe të vëndë për të njërës që të vinë të, të ndjekin, Father Mark, in, in America, so many Christian groups you know, now, they, they like to come to be part of the Orthodox Church. And also uh, other people who belong, so Orthodox people who belong to other ethnicity. Uh, do they come here? And uh, the next question is, are they welcomed in your church? How, what, what is your uh, approach towards all the community. Are they welcome? So, uh, one thing I have said to my community over the community If you do not welcome someone coming through the door, they will never come back. So, yes, we have uh, not just not just Orthodox but as you said, we have different Christian groups and people from those groups are looking for the truth. Now, as you very, very well know, through uh, different social media, people have more exposure to the Orthodox Church. So, we have people coming in the door on a Sunday we've never seen before. And I have people Catholic, Catholic Lutheran, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Coptic, who come to say there's something there for me. And so, thank God, uh, we have an opportunity to teach them.
kemi një mundësi, ne për një mundësi që ti mësojmë ato në besimit tonë. To expose them to the trick tradition of the Orthodox Church? Ti bëjmë ata, tu bëjmë atyre të ditur edhe besimit dhe tradita tonë orthodoxe. And with the hope, by the grace of God, dhe me shpresën e hirit përëndis, to bring them in through baptism. Ti sielim brënda kishës, brënda ti bëjmë pjesë të komunitetit në përmjet të misterit pakzim. So they become part of the community. Me qëllim që atë të bëjmë pjesë e komunitetit. Në fakt, atë marku, ju do të bëjnë një pyetje, një ndoshta pak edhe të vështirë, por ka të bëjnë në lidhje me identitetin etnik. Sepse të disa njërës në njërë me ndojnë se kisha, apo kisha ku janë këtu, ndoshta ata humbasin edhe identitetin etnik dhe ndoshtë atë cilat e janë disa këshiva që e mund të edhe më të përcilë në përmjet rajës në gjallë. Father Mark, some people, in fact, are suspicious because they think that some of them are people. Think that they will lose their identity. And what can you say about them just to, to, for them to understand, you know, the purpose of the church, which is the real purpose of the church? So this is, of course, this applies to us here. Po, kjo ka edhe që ka lidhe me njëmi. But the reality here is that we do live in America. And uh, when they work, when they uh, find entertainment, we even say when they pay their taxes, <laughs> they do all of this in English. And so there is school, education. And so, so there is a balance. The church can provide a portion of that, uh, maintaining that ethnicity. But the families themselves have to perpetuate this, have to carry it on. And I've, I've shared with you how, how successful many, many and when I read the newspaper about the young children, we list here how successful they are in school. Middle school, high school. And it seems every other name is an Albanian. So, the younger generation here have embraced the American culture while with, without losing the, their, 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 their home culture. Their and so I think when these things are combined, they have things to share with. Yes. Father Mark, we saw a living church, a living community. How did you reach this, this spot? Because we, we saw the church today full of people. Because for the clergy, it's not an easy way to, to do it. How did you reach this? Well, as you, as you, as you said, I, I, I've only been the first dominoes for a short time. So thank God, priests in the past, they have been able to maintain a calm, calm and peaceful environment. Like you know, in any family, there'll be difficulties, struggles, even arguments. I think that uh, it's the priest's job to be patient with his children, his spiritual children, and to be an example in as much as he can 
dhe të jetë një shëmbu sa më shumë që a i të mundë to show forth the love of Christ për të treguar të shurim të kërëndis and then the people after time dhe pas taj njërësit me kohën through education në përmijet të edukimi and through their own patience dhe në përmijet të durimit të tyre begin to acquire that Christ-like nature fillojnë të kërkojnë të natyrën e tyre të njashme të njashme me Kristi when that happens dhe kur kjo ndodhë there is there is so much that can be accomplished ka shumë gjyre që mund të përmbushë mund të kryhe because people then work to put away sërse atërë njësi fillojnë të punojnë për e dhe te në të krenari to put away selfishness për të të egoizm në egocentrizm and to work for the benefit of the community për të mire në komunitet atë marku në fakt i ujëm si që përmonda në fillim i një shumë i njohë për për radio të omës rrisë duhet i këthe komunitet i juaj ka ndihmuar edhe në një gjallet dhe falë jush falë kontributeve të këti komunitet më arritë që ne të ndërtojmë tërësisht një studio të re ku ne e ofrojmë në të studio intervista, podcast të ndryshme dhe kjo e që falë donacionet dhe bujarist të uaj përse e keni të se dhe këti që zha shu që u kemë dimuar dhe të tjera projekte të kishë së të nukës përse e shikoni të rëndësishme që ne të bashkëpunojme një tjetë Father Mark Jök as I said in the early of our winter you have been at our registration so since two years ago and through your donations we have reached to build a new studio which is available now for interviews very contemporary studio for interviews for podcasts etc also you have had a lot of other projects why do you see the importance of cooperation and which can be fruitful cooperation for both churches well as we said I mean the roots of 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 this particular church and this archdiocese our opinion it's a natural relationship we here in America have recognized the good work of the Archbishop in Albania, the clergy, the clergy, and certainly the radio station. As you as you know, some of us here, our priests, aren't speaking fluent Albanian. But we know now we can provide an opportunity for our people to send them to the radio station to listen and to be educated in the faith. So while you think, Father, that we're helping you by these small gifts, really we are taking the benefit. And many, many people, not just in this parish, but in the Archdiocese, love the radio station very much. And so we, we hope that we can continue to strengthen this bond. But I will say this if I can. Helping with financial donations with maybe radio station or icon or even a church the foundation has to be the relationship of people and so for this we're, we're very grateful Father, you are a spiritual power, and since you are in charge of this big community here, of course you know that the big challenges, especially for the youth, what the church 
all the church take care here for you, you console them, you uh, advise them. So to have a healthy life and to be away from bad habits, unfortunately, I'm taking rules here, but in the This is a big challenge. It's a, it's a big struggle. We, the church, are always working to pull the kids away from all of these other things. But society makes this very difficult. When I was a teenager, we never had sports on the weekend. Okay. Stores were closed. You spent time with your family on Sunday. Now, the parents have to make a decision. Do I bring one to the sports? Do I bring one to church? So again, like many things in the church, we have to be patient we have to find different ways to educate the kids of course we have Sunday school but we also have um, the ability to have youth groups we're, st we're starting again in our church to try to form and we're pro providing them with something other than they're getting outside. There is so much competition. For me, I will speak personally. I have, I have tried to make myself available to the children themselves, to the young people, and to the parents, by saying to the parents, if your children need anything, to call me. Pick up the phone and call me. Our kids need to have some type of foundation. For me, it can avoid the kind of the new way they made it for it. We have a short time to do this. So we have to work very hard. I do it for my mission, not just in the church. You have it in the kish, but in our homes. For the children, the people with the responsibility of the parents. For the sin and for the children to keep the church in their minds. For the own soul, the children that can kish and the mind in the church as much as possible. Some children don't. At Marvel, in fact, the youngster one of the traditions of culture, the traditions of myself, the Shibris, can part of the organization of activity. Which, see, there's natural natural activity, but there's a certain profitiveness, a certain amount of education to deal with this. Father Mark, we've seen that you organize here even activities regarding culture, even culture and education activities. Here in the church or organize the church. What's the benefit of the church of doing these activities? Well, again, I think it's, uh, it, it, I go back to the family again. So, in the family, we all have responsibilities. Maybe the parents have to work. The children have to go to school. You have to take care of the house. But there is also a time that you have to relax. And this is how life is balanced. And so, and so part of what we were saying before, the here in the church we have services, we have religious education, but we also have social events. So this, I think, helps to strengthen the community. Even, even some of the Desert Fathers, they talk about how you can't be always, always, always praying. 
Ez a tanácsom, hogy mutasd a gyakorlatot, hogy tudjuk jól. But there are times for this. For kade kopyta. And there are times for some rest. For kade kopyta kusul. So we do this in our community. De kis úgy nem meg kompetitó, mi organizálunk. Az már kutcilat jön, de szánja projekt, hogy kini ez a portál, a komitét, porja betem. Cilat jön, de szánja projekt, ez a komisszió, mi csináljuk a peskopát, a kripeskopát, a jóesét. Father Mark, which are some of the projects that you have for your parish, but also since you are the protocillion of uh, Archbishop of the Bain Archbishop of Boston and all America for the Bain Church, uh, what are some of the priorities and vision that you have under the leadership, under the, the, the spiritual care of His Grace Bishop? Well, his grace, uh, as as you know, served as a priest in the diocese before he was bishop for many years. And so we, we, we've gotten to know each other even before he was bishop. And we would talk sometimes about different things we hoped for. Just as priests. So, one of the biggest priorities of his grace has been the welfare of his clergy. And for the families. So now we started to try to meet with the clergy once every three months. Because our diocese is not in a geographical area, we, we usually use Zoom as the media. And he's tried to provide a space for us to again share our experiences, our successes. What he's also looking for is what we just spoke about, to, to reinvigorate, to, to raise up again the youth. As you know, we have tried some camping here. But we've talked also about the churches that are close to each other in the Boston area. To try to have perhaps the kids from these parishes come together. To get to know each other better. Because some of us are even related. Related, their cousins or their. Um, what His Grace also would like to do is to provide more opportunities for education. Now, as you know, because your radio station does great work, we have these tools to reach people who, who are in the same area. And so, uh, we're considering now, for example, to have uh, one of the priests to give some talk. Maybe once a month on some topic of the church to help educate people. So two, two things just to point out. His grace is hope by God's help will be to make the community more together and more strong and to provide an opportunity for education in order to continue through the years 
are orthodox Father, thank you so much for, for being with us. Thank you for uh, allowing me the opportunity to, uh, to be with you here in this interview and uh, to address uh, your many, uh, many followers on the radio station. Thank you so much, Father Mark. And this has been a request from the listeners. All everything that you possible. Mr. Adonjala, I am the Kish and the Pietas Ulises Marik, to the Booster, the Ishim and the Kleriku Projectis Project, and the Projectic Kish. Me at Marto, Miru de Joshi, the Miru Takoshi, the Missionary.